All right, y'all, how's it going? Um, here we are. So I ordered this APR catch can. It's actually not here that yet. I'm recording this a couple days before because I'm doing logs right now, data logs. Um, just got done putting the catch can back in. This is from one, two launch controls and one pull from 2,500 to 7,500. This is a lot, a lot. All of this just came out of the catch. It was dry before I went out. This is how much is coming out on every, now mind you, I'm starting out low RPM. You shouldn't be going watt at anything below like 3,500 really, in my opinion, and, and any gear other than first, um, maybe second, depends. But this is uh, fourth gear starting at 2,500. I'm getting a ton of blow by. Now I've gone through, I've done logs at, um, or not logs, pools, and second, third, fourth, Starting at 3,500, 4,000 RPM, did like three or four of those, came back, and the catch can stays dry. Just anything low, get a ton of blow by. Um, with this APR catch can that's coming, it's supposed to have a different type of baffling. It uses OEM style uh, drain back port, I guess. I don't, don't flame me because I don't exactly understand how it works. I, I saw some diagrams posted on Facebook, it makes sense. I can't put it into words to explain to you guys. Um, maybe I can try and find some of those screenshots and post them here. But basically, uh, most catch can or P PCV replacement plates like this racing line. Now, mind you, this is a V2. They're at like V4 or 5 now, but even those don't have the little dream back thing like the APR does. So I hop on that. It'll be here tomorrow. I'm going to, if I have enough, if it gets here early enough, um, I'll install it and go out and do some runs and stuff, make sure it works. Either way, this weekend I'll be. Um, doing all types of racing and stuff, but I just want to show you guys this is fresh right out the thing like that's That's how it is. So Hopefully this APR can takes care of it. And I'll get back to you guys when it shows up Yo guys, all right, so yesterday I showed you guys how much oil Actually emptied it out, but this right this is from one pool one sing or not one pool, but one Going out and doing a couple pulls coming home emptying the catch can that's how much oil I'm getting. Um, wasted a lot of oil yesterday getting revisions done, but it's all for the greater good, right? So, just got the catch can box. Gonna unbox it for you guys real quick. Take off this racing line setup. I saw the APR setup. I think I load the car on the trailer, head to uh, Austin and San Antonio. I'm gonna do a bunch of racing stuff this weekend, and I'll make another video. I'll probably talk about it at the end of one of those videos um, on how it performed. And then another video, I'm gonna take the catch can apart. I don't have time for that today, I'm, I'm already rushing. So we're gonna unbox this, check it out, get her in, get her done. Usually I would kinda do this kind of thing inside, but we got someone here taking pictures and some stuff, so. Stuck out in the garage with dogs for right now. If you hear them whining, it's cause there's people here and they can't go bother me, so. All right, really, really hoping this fixes all this blow by problem. Okay, package real nice. Look at that. That's the can itself. Hoping this will mount right up to that. That's pretty nice. It should. Oh, it doesn't. Doesn't screw apart, but you got the drain on the bottom. It's a hard drain. Shoot. There we go. With the quick connect, uh, this line will just pop right in, like so. Yep. Once you push it in, it doesn't really doesn't allow it to pull out. So there we go. First things first, I'll zip tie that down somewhere. Maybe I have to cut it to length. That way I can just whoop, drain. Which ways? Off is down. I'm looking at this. Off. Drain. Makes sense, right? Yeah. So, boom. I'm not sure what this little bolt and stuff's for, but looking at. We'll have to see what the pictures show. How to mount it on the motor mount. All right, moving forward. We have hardware. I believe these are posts that you screw into uh, the intake manifold and stuff, so you can still run your cover. Uh, I don't care for that. These screws are going to be for the catch can itself. Um, ooh, okay, we got the hoses, the hose clamp, or the, you know, to keep the hoses nice. I don't see a gasket yet. It says it comes with a gasket. There's definitely no gasket there. Mm. That's all that's in the box. Boom, boom. All right. Let's take 
take a look here. So maybe some of you know, maybe some of you don't. I'm not the biggest fan of APR, all right? So buying a sketch can, I was real skeptical and someone talked me into it and like, you got a YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. So took the old catch can out. Um, this is where the old one, one of the mounting points were and then it mounted down there. There's a hole there. Uh, I guess because the, the OE engine mount does have like a stud that comes off of it. So that makes sense, but uh, mine doesn't. So this is being held in by this one screw. I mean, which is really Whatever, it doesn't seem like it's going to go anywhere. I have my aux radiator deleted. You guys are going to have a different looking area back here. I just routed the hose down, brought it down, and I have like holes in my uh, my belly pan from where it got all messed up. And I just like shoved it down into one of those ho holes so I can just drain it real easy. Um, so yeah, that's that. I didn't tighten this down all the way yet, but uh, I'm going to get the hoses kind of maybe lined up. Um, I do like with this APR kit because I have my old hose routed through here and up and it came through here and it was chafing real bad on the uh, diverter valve but this will go over top which might be ugly but whatever it didn't come with any instructions or the gasket for this like I was saying so but uh, when I get back from this actually oh yeah because they're real long we're going to open this up and see the baffling inside you can't really see there's not much to see like doesn't seem like there's anything in there really. We'll find out. Definitely a nice piece though. All right, so if you have a catch can plate on there at all, obviously that needs to come off. So I just got my racing line one off, got the gasket out. I'm gonna wipe down this ceiling surface real good. Wipe down the gasket here, and then we'll slip it on this new one and clean off this surface as well. Then we'll slap it on. Put the new screws in that I'll probably wind up painting black depending on how it looks and go from there. Like I said, it doesn't come with instructions, no torque value. Uh, Aaron said like on the post on the big MQB pages it would come with a gasket. Don't know why it didn't. It's a little upsetting, but whatever. Not the best angle here for y'all, but um, here we go. Hopefully this gasket stays on. Layer down real nice like here. Alright. Everything seems to line up nice. Get some screws in there and sink them in. And there's like a check valve that came with the kit. You're gonna have to cut this hose up. Oh boy. Sorry about that. The check valve that came with this, we're going to have to cut this hose, put the valve in, it came with new clamps, and it's going to go to this. And then we'll do our hoses, and then we're done. I can load this baby on the trailer, and get our boats to Texas. Alright, so all these are pretty accessible. This one's a little rough because it's so close to the high pressure, high pressure fuel pump. But uh, this one right here, you're going to need like a real stubby 4 millimeter because this thing gets in the way. And I don't have one. That or a uh, like a ball head, which I broke my four millimeter. So just be aware of that. Clearance is tight. All right. Next part, I got this little check valve put in. As you can see, it's oriented this way. Um, they don't have instructions. I had to really zoom in on their pictures and try and figure it out. You can see that it's stepped down going in. So and it comes with clips, which is nice. Comes with new. These OEM real nice black looking clips. It doesn't come with a new gasket. I don't understand, but whatever. So I'll get this back to where it belongs. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this little holder piece anymore. I have to figure out. Yeah, it goes right in the middle. So I just have to tape this down, I guess. No big deal. All right. So I was worried it wasn't going to match up to my racing line inlet there. But this whole thing, it does rotate down here. So you can spin this. To get this whatever angle you need as I spin it you kind of see it spinning down there sweet and then uh, this cap also spins and you got the little fork that goes in so we'll get that in and then we're, we're set we're, we're done after that pretty simple install other than not kind of pain in the butt it would be nice if it gave you a new hose it was already cut the size and uh, uh, maybe like an aftermarket solution for that you could pay a couple extra bucks to get a new like a, a, a reusable bolt that has a post so you can put a nut on that it does come with a nut 
for that. And then this spot right here is for the remote washer, but I deleted my washer, so. Ladies and gents, she's all installed, everything's tight. And said this, without having that other, that mounting point down there, it is, I mean, it, this is, everything's tightened down. This is how much play you get. I'm not putting too much force into it. I, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's just kind of annoying that it, they didn't, I don't know, something better there. Um, got these tightened down. I think this is absolutely hideous. This line should have been shorter and just cut across and did a 90, honestly, in my opinion, whatever. Most annoying part was getting that clip on. Like that clip is super annoying to get on. I had to stand on like that side of the car and push it towards me, really hurt my finger. The racing line one, super simple. It's just, uh, you get here, squeeze the sides, it pops right off. It's literally the most simple thing in the world. But we're gonna put it to the test this weekend. Really, really gonna put this thing to the test. So be on the lookout for that. It's the end of this video. I got load all these tools, load the car on a trailer, change, get clothes ready. It's gonna be a baller weekend. You guys stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Let me go at night. Let me know what you guys think about this catch can. It does look pretty other than the way the hose goes over top. It's hideous. I guess I'll get used to it. Whatever. Thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you on the flip flop. So I just wanted to go over the catch can a little bit. I've been running it, I don't know, about a month now, I think, actually. It's been doing great. No complaints, zero complaints. You guys saw a little picture there in the beginning of the video. That's about how much I get after like, I don't know, like a week of hard driving. I've been beating a living crap out of my car. And as you'll see, two videos from now, the car is um, broken. <laughs> so, uh, hard broke. Motor's fine, but uh, you'll, you'll see. Bigger things are coming. Uh, it's not a huge deal, but I did break the car. This one to go over, it is 10 out of 10. I give it um, A++. But on that, that front, I mean, it performs great. But the top plate, like, not where the plate attaches to the cam cover, like the plate that attaches to that, um, it was leaking from the backside. I tightened up the little baby Allens up top, and it was still leaking, so I contacted APR. They sent me a new unit. Um, and this happened to another friend of mine too, and they sent him a new unit as well. I think his is leaking, his second unit is leaking. I haven't been able to run my second unit yet, so I can't really say. Um, it wasn't like revised or anything, they just said it was like a QC error. Um, so that, that's all I got. So you might get it, might leak a little bit, contact APR, they'll replace it. Other than that, I got zero complaints. It's been doing great. I've grown a little bit fonder of the look, the way the hose goes over, and uh, depending on what turbo inlet you use, it'll sit lower or higher or angle different, so there's that, and I'll be changing up my entire intake system here soon anyway, so maybe it'll sit a little bit better, but uh, I got some pictures here I'll throw at the end of what it looks like with the plate apart. I took it apart when I was swapping out units, and uh, that's all I got. There's a lot of uh, very cool things to look forward to. This is my temporary office, but uh, I'll give you guys a better look around the new crib in the following videos. So if there's been a break between videos, it's because I just literally moved across the country. So stay tuned for all that and uh, more power gains and just there's, <laughs> there's all types of stuff. Um, can't wait to show you guys. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip flop.